Happy Women's Equality Day today and always. Happy, Happy Women's Equality, Equality Day. Day. <laughs>Happy August 26th, Women's Equality Day. I'm Pam Elam, President of Monumental Women, and welcome to our celebration video. One year ago, we unveiled the Women's Rights Pioneers Monument, honoring Sojourner Truth, Susan B. Anthony, and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. We were so proud of that, as you know, and despite a pandemic, we were on time, on budget, and uh, we had many great leaders at that unveiling ceremony. But nobody could know that among those attending that unveiling ceremony would be the future governor of New York, the first woman in New York State history, Kathy Hochul. Congratulations, Kathy. We are so happy for you and for our state and Monumental Women looks forward to working with you to move history forward here in New York. So you may ask, what are we doing this August 26th to celebrate Women's Equality Day? Well, we have four major causes of celebration. First, we're unveiling our new and virtual Women's Rights History Trail covering all five boroughs of New York City. The second way we're celebrating is by giving out the first annual Moving History Forward Awards. And these are awards Monumental Women wants to give to individuals and organizations that were instrumental in helping us create the monument. And now for the third way that we're celebrating August 26th. Coming soon, Monumental Women merch. Yes, we will have our own merchandise available for sale with all proceeds going to fund our education projects and programs. The last way that we're celebrating is the announcement that Monumental Women will donate a one-third size figure of our Women's Rights Pioneers Monument to the New York State Museum in 2022. So thank you for joining us in our celebration on August 26th. We thank you for your friendship, your support, and we hope you have a wonderful Women's Equality Day wherever you are. Thank you very much. August 26th, Women's Equality Day, and Monumental Women is excited and proud to unveil its virtual New York City Women's Rights History Trail. By visiting the Monumental Women website at monumentalwomen.org, you can use this trail map on your smartphone or computer to visit either virtually or in person locations all over the five boroughs where women's history was made. With the help of our partners and advisors, Monumental Women has put together a diverse list of over 150 women from various generations, movements, backgrounds, ethnicities, and occupations. So New Yorkers and visitors alike can learn more about women's vast and varied contributions to our great city and to our country. We look forward to expanding this initial list with the help of historians, educators, community groups, researchers, and the general public. Look for our website nomination form to suggest women you think should be recognized and help monumental women with our mission of educating people about women's history and honoring more women in public spaces. In the future, with more funding, Monumental Women hopes to physically mark the trail and to expand the information that's available and the ways to access it. Now, go on the trail, share it with others, and thank you for your support. Hi there. A year ago, the team at Talix Brown's Foundry opened up out of quarantine so the monument could be delivered on time, and they worked frantically in heat as bad as last week's to finish the casting. We installed the monument at dawn. A few days later, it was unveiled on time on August 26, 
the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Monumental Women safely organized a beautiful and moving event in spite of the pandemic restrictions. Sometimes it takes a long time for a monument to win the heart of a city, but this monument got down to work right away. Since the unveiling, I've been continuously delighted by the many ways in which the city has adopted the sculpture and made it New York's own. There were spontaneous decorations of memorial flowers and posters after Ruth Bader Ginsburg's passing. Banners urging women to vote were strung on the site before the presidential election. Last May at the monument, Gloria Steinem, Nydia Velasquez, and Helen Rosenthal launched Women for Maya at the monument and introduced Maya Wiley, candidate for mayor of New York. In July, Catherine Garcia conceded the mayoral primary race in a press conference at the monument. Lots of people listened to the Talking Statues app as Jane Alexander, Viola Davis, America Ferrara, Rita Moreno, Zoe Saldana, and Meryl Streep bring to life the words of Sojourner Truth, Susan B. Anthony, and Elizabeth Cady Stanton in English and Spanish. And people stop all day long to look and think or come on purpose to see the monument and bring their daughters. I'm very grateful for the extraordinary efforts of the Monumental Women Board to support me as I worked to fulfill their mandate to create a sculpture that would matter to women everywhere. Thank you. I am very honored to present the first Moving History Forward Award to our dear friend, Gail Brewer. She has been our stalwart champion, always there when we needed her. And in my mind, Gail represents what a public servant should be. Not only respecting your community, but representing it and hearing all voices. And she's a true friend to monumental women, and we couldn't thank her enough. So, Moving History Forward Award, the first ever given to Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer. Thank you very much, Pam Elam. I want to say I am Borough President Gail Brewer. Pam Ewell and I have been friends since 1978 when we both worked in the city council. And so participating in this project has been very special to me on many levels. And I just want to be specific about how much I appreciate her and what she has accomplished. So it is really a high honor to accept the first annual Moving History Forward Award, especially on the 101st anniversary of the amendment, of the 19th Amendment, and the first anniversary of the unveiling of the Central Park Women's Rights Pioneers Monument. Pam Elam managed to pull that off even in the middle of the pandemic. I want to thank Pam Elam and everyone who is part of Monumental Women for this wonderful award. The board, the volunteers, everyone. And for the years of work they dedicated to creating the Women's Rights Pioneers Monument. It wasn't easy. And not the least because getting official approval was difficult. It all started about eight years ago when a few good women, friends of Pam's, colleagues, Brenda Berkman, stepped forward to create history. Much as in the era of the suffragists we honor today. This group became known as Monumental Women and it set out to begin writing a citywide injustice. Until a year ago, I think there were only five works of civic sculpture portraying real women. We had Alice in Wonderland and things like that. So we banded together and in the spirit of Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Susan B. Anthony, Sojourner Truth and the thousands of women who risked their lives for suffrage, we set out to break the bronze ceiling. And I think that Stanton and Sojourner and Anthony are smiling somewhere at the hoops monumental women were made to go through to create a statue honoring three of the most important figures in American history. The answer came in many forms. No came in many forms. The park is closed to new statues. Women don't want a statue, they want a garden. 
if we say yes to the statue, to this one, we'll have to say yes to all statues. My personal favorite, and Pam Elam's also. You have to prove that each of these women had actually set foot in Central Park. We persisted, however. Funding was a challenge, as it was for the suffragists. Only my office and that of City Council member Helen Rosenthal put in public money. The rest came from generous donors, foundations, and in a testament to feminism, local Girl Scout troops who are here today who no donated the money that they raised from cookie sales. And we also want to thank New York Life. Well, it took 70 votes to get the vote, but only seven to get the statue. And if you listen carefully, you can hear Stanton's voice. Don't worry, ladies, we're getting there. Yeah. During last year's unveiling of Meredith Berkman's beautiful statue, you had a sense of really being part of a historic mo moment. For the first time, women and girls could come to Central Park and they can listen to the QR and they can see a statue celebrating women and the power of their voices and they can go back to their schools and the schools can come here and they can hear it over and over again. But anyone who knows the tenacity of justice seekers of monumental women knows their work is only beginning. They're challenging cities across the country and our city to erect monuments honoring women and people of color. Statues are powerful statements about what and who a community values. Monumental Women is making sure the forgotten fighters throughout history are finally front and center. I want to say emphatically, thank you for this inaugural Moving History Forward Award. It's been an honor to move history forward with everyone from Monumental Women to a future filled with monumental women like the Monumental Women. Thank you very much. <laughs> Commissioner Silver, I cannot thank you enough. I met you eight years ago. The first time I met, you said the mayor and I believe in equality and equity. Those are very easy words to talk about, but you did the walk. And it is because of you that this statue is here. We were told many times that Central Park was finished and we believe it's a, a quintessential public forum where women must be represented as well. So because of you, you carried history forward and we would like to present you with this award. Well, thank you so much, Colleen. I have to tell you, I remember you approaching me and I remember that day quite well. I think it was at Pratt Institute and I was leaving and you were saying, Commissioner, do you know there are no statues of real women in Central Park? And I couldn't believe it. I said, let me go and check. When I went back to my staff and I asked them, is this true? They said, yes. And it's also, as you stated, a 60-year moratorium. So I asked my staff who can change it and they said you. So I knew right then this was going to be an easy decision. We reached out to Central Park. I let them know I want to lift that moratorium because we believe in equity and what more important than to have women's pioneer represented right here. And then the original location I know wasn't satisfactory and then we found the most famous location in Central Park, Literary Walk. And I have to tell you going by here to watch all these people come by, listen to the audio and then Meredith Bergman, how outstanding work that she did. This is such a privilege for me as commissioner to right past wrongs that everyone should be represented in our park, right. real people. And to have Caddy Stanton, Susan B. Anthony, and Sojourner Truth right here in Central Park makes my heart feel good. Hey, that's great. So thank you. On behalf of Monumental Women, I thank you for this recognition. Thank you. You're so wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. For being a woman's rights man. Yes. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Hi, my name is Ariel Deutsch, and I'm a proud board member of Monumental Women. It is with great honor that I present our Moving History Forward Award to Heather Nestle, president of the New York Life Foundation and Monumental Women board member. We are so grateful for the tremendous support from our friends at New York Life, 
whose generosity dates back to 2016, when they made a $500,000 challenge grant toward the creation of our Women's Rights Pioneers Monument. Since then, their continued support has allowed us to further our ongoing goals of challenging municipalities to make our public spaces more inclusive and creating a full and fair historical record that includes the contributions of all women. So from the bottom of our hearts, Monumental Women thanks you, Heather and New York Life Foundation. Thanks so much, Ariel. And thank you to Monumental Women for this very special award. When I learned that there were no statues of women in Central Park, I was astonished. But then I learned about the group of people who were determined to change that. And I knew that New York Life would wanna be a part of it. In addition to being in New York City for the last 176 years, we have a strong commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. In addition to that, we have a real deep connection with one of the women depicted on that statue. Susan B. Anthony was a policyholder of New York Life, and her father, brother, and brother-in-law were all agents. To top that, she actually used the cash value of her insurance policy to get the first women admitted to the University of Rochester. With that kind of a connection, we knew that we wanted to be a part of making this statue a reality. We're thrilled that the statue has become such an icon for women and girls across the city and across the country, and we're committed to working with monumental women as they encourage other municipalities to recognize the women and people of color who deserve to be honored in our public spaces. Thank you again for this special award. As architect of the Capitol, I had the honor and the accompanying headaches of carefully hoisting and moving the portrait monument honoring three stalwarts of the women's suffrage movement up through the historic halls and up a stairway of the United States Capitol building into the light of the Capitol Rotunda and its new place of honor. Almost 20 years had passed since we celebrated that statue's rededication when Colleen reached out to me seeking guidance on finding capable project managers to run a sculptural design competition for a women's rights pioneers monument, and then shepherding the winning design through the labyrinth of New York City's approval process and ultimately overseeing its installation at a site in Central Park. Who best to contact than BBB, Bayer Blinder Bell, an architectural firm I had worked with at the United States Capitol and one of the most respected design and preservation firms in the country. A firm that had already earned its spurs with all of the New York City agencies that would impact the approval process. The BBB team of Richard Southwick, Susan Baggs, and Kat Monahan had the professional sensibilities and experience to work with the Board of Monumental Women to see the project through to its end game, to its dedication in Central Park last year, helping to commemorate the centennial of the 19th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. They delivered on time and on budget during a pandemic, and they deserve much credit. I am honored to have played a small part in the process by being the matchmaker between BBB and the Board of Monumental Women. I am so pleased to be able to present Monumental Women's Moving History Forward 2020, 2021 Award to Bayer Blinder Bell. It was a very fortunate day in the life of Monumental Women when we met our friends Richard Southwick Susan Baggs and Kat Monahan from Buyer Blender Bell. Having such a distinguished firm join us in our effort to break the bronze ceiling in Central Park was truly a gift. Your firm was essential to our success. The importance of the expertise and attention to detail you brought to managing our design competition as well as to all the technicalities <laughs> of Central Park site preparation cannot be overstated. There were fun parts like the day that we went up to the foundry in the midst of a pandemic to look at all the patinas for the monument, but I also know about the harder parts that BBB handled involving many, many permits. Groundbreaking, I'm sorry, ground penetrating radar, the protection of tree roots, 
building the pedestal literally from the ground up and much more. Monumental Women is pleased to present the Moving History Forward 2021 award to you, Kat, and to your firm, to Richard, and to Susan, in recognition of our extremely successful partnership in building the Women's Rights Pioneers Monument. So thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brenda. And thank you, Pam and Colleen and everyone at Monumental Women um, and to the artist Mer Meredith Bergman. This, as most things, was a work of a giant team, a lot of people, a lot of moving parts. And it was an honor for me personally to be involved. And it was an honor for the firm. So on behalf of Buyer Blinder Bell, Richard Southwick, Susan Baggs, and myself, Kat Monahan. We are so pleased to receive this, and we look forward to many, many years of seeing this beautiful statue in the park, inspiring women and men, all ages, to be active, vote. Thank you. I am Richard Southwick of the architectural firm Bayer Blinder Bell. I'm very honored to receive the Moving History Forward Award from Monumental Women. The design and installation of the Central Park Women's Rights Pioneers Monument was a result of a good many very talented individuals, including the artist, the foundry, the contractors, our friends at New York City Parks, the Central Park Conservancy, and the Manhattan Borough President's Office but especially the very dedicated group from Monumental Women who willed this into existence over so many years. This was particularly challenging completing this during the pandemic. Few projects I've had over the many years of my career have had a more important deadline, the centennial of the ratification of the 19th Amendment for women's voting rights, and few have been more significant. Here we are one year later with this important new landmark in Central Park. Byron Blinder Bell is honored to have had a small role in making this happen. Thank you very much. I am so pleased to present this Moving History Forward Award to Penelope Cox, our dear friend. The first day I met you, Penelope, I think that was your first day of work for the Manhattan Borough President's Office. And she was thrown immediately into the fire, our meeting with the Parks Department and the Central Park Conservancy people who at that meeting said, no, there will never be another monument in Central Park. And from that time on, it's just been a roller coaster ride, hasn't it? One way to put it. <laughs> a bureaucratic roller coaster ride, but we survived and we triumphed. And Penelope's tireless work helped get us there. So it is my pleasure on behalf of Monumental Women to present this Moving History Forward Award to Penelope Cox. Thank you, Pam. And thank you, Monumental Women, for this wonderful award. And also really for the opportunity to work alongside you in this extraordinary endeavor. It was many, many years ago early in the project when I would walk around Central Park and look for places to erect a monument. And in those days I would walk around and I would try to imagine what the monument would look like, who would stop to look at it, what school groups might say gathered around with their class. Years later, when we were awarded this beautiful piece of real estate here on Poets Walk, Again, I tried to imagine what the monument would look like and if tourists and locals would both stop and question who these women were and tell stories and take pictures. In all that projecting and all that pondering, never did I imagine what this statue would become in really just a year. It is now a destination, a selfie spot, a place for birthday parties, a memorial, a backdrop to women candidates announcing their running or their conceding beyond my wildest dreams. When you break a ceiling, whether it's brass, 
brass or bronze or glass or astroturf. The view from the other side is more fantastic than you could even imagine. So what we need to do is to continue to break ceilings and expand the view of and for women and girls. We need to continue to move history forward. Hello, I'm Namita Luthra and I'm on the board of Monumental Women. Monumental Women wouldn't be where it is without Monumental Girls, Girl Scouts to be precise. Three troops of adventurous, brave and hardworking girls helped us get to the unveiling of the Women's Rights Pioneers Monument last year. They saw a gaping hole of no real women commemorated in public statuary in Central Park. And they did what Girl Scouts always do. They rolled up their sleeves and got to work. Talking, planning, using their trademark tool of selling cookies, and then donating those proceeds to monumental women. Troops 3484, 3482, and 3746 we're grateful for your sense of indignation. One girl said, wait, there's a statue of a dog and no women? And for your persistence. We're thrilled to give you a Moving History Forward Award presented by me and the CEO of Girl Scouts of Greater New York, Meredith Mascara. Congratulations. Congratulations, girls. As CEO of Girl Scouts of Greater New York, it is such an honor and pleasure to honor you uh, in traditional Girl Scout ways of courage, confidence, and character. You girls have made the world a better place for generations to come who will see this and know what women and girls can accomplish and achieve. You are go-getters, innovators, risk-takers, and leaders, and I am so proud to call myself your CEO and to be a part of your journey uh, as you go through and become leaders yourself and hopefully have a statue of yours here in the park or anywhere else in the world from your accomplishments. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this award and my troop is so grateful to contribute to this statue and to contribute to women's history in New York City. We are incredibly honored to accept a Moving History Forward Award on behalf of our troop 3482. We would like to thank many people including the Monumental Women Board for working so hard on this monument and for granting us this award. Thank you in particular to Colleen Jenkins for coming to one of our meetings to talk to us about Elizabeth Cady Stanton and to inspire us to raise money for the statue. Additionally, we would like to thank our troop members, friends and family for buying cookies from us. We could not have donated the amount of money we did without their help. We are so grateful to be receiving this award as we have always been incredibly passionate about, women, about women's rights and equality. So when we found out that there were no statues of women in Central Park, we were more than happy and extremely determined to raise as much money and awareness as we could. Being given this award means so much to us, so thank you again from us and the rest of our troop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings and congratulations to Monumental Women from the New York State Museum in Albany. I'm Jennifer Lamack, Chief Curator of History. And I'm Ashley Hopkins Benton, a senior historian and curator. It is vital to provide young people, especially girls, diverse examples of real women who did great things right in their own state, city, or neighborhood. Both the Central Park statue and the New Women's History Trail do just that, inspire with the achievements of real women. As they say, if you can see it, you can be it. Attending the unveiling of the sculpture one year ago alongside amazing contemporary women was an honor. Recently, I brought my daughter for a visit to Central Park. She was inspired by the history of Truth, Stanton, and Anthony's achievements, and also excited to learn that she was standing in the same spot some of her modern heroes, Hillary Clinton and Brenda Berkman, had stood for the unveiling. We were honored to have the maquette of the Central Park statue on display here at the New York State Museum for over a year and look forward to working with Monumental Women to bring the one-third size women's rights pioneer sculpture into the State Museum's collection. Having the sculpture in the museum's collection will allow us to honor the accomplishments of Stanton, Anthony, and Truth, document the hard work that went into the planning and execution of the statue in Central Park, 
and work in cooperation with the educational efforts underway in New York City in an effort to reach the whole state. Congratulations on the special one-year anniversary and looking towards the future of monumental women. It's really hard to believe that an entire year has gone by since we unveiled this fantastic monument. Congratulations to Monumental Women, and uh, it's been a lot of hard work this year to get out these projects of the Women's Rights History Trail and also the toolkit. But we hope that people will make use of them and learn more about women's history. Hi, my name is Regina Wilson, and I am honored to be here today. Uh, just a year ago, I was a part of the ceremony to commemorate the statue being placed here in the park. And I am more than happy today to say that I am a part of the board of Monumental Women. This statue brings so much strength and power to women today. And I'm happy to be honored to be a part of this organization, which will help to highlight some of the great achievements that women have been able to do, not only in this city, but across the world. So as we today honor these wonderful women here that have helped women all across the country to be able to vote, I am more than honored and happy to be a part of now the continuing education that will help to bring women forward in the near future. And thank you so much for joining all of us. Hello, my name is Colleen Jenkins. I welcome you to Central Park. I welcome you as well as my great, great grandmother, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and the ladies in the statue. All three of them worked for women's rights and particularly the right to vote for not only my great, great grandmother, but my great grandmother and my grandmother all fought for your right to vote. The 19th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution protects all citizens' right to vote. So every November, get out and vote, and thank you. Come celebrate history moving forward here in Central Park. Hi, I'm Meredith Mascara, proud CEO of Girl Scouts of Greater New York, currently serving more than 38,000 girls in the five boroughs of New York City. I also have the honor of serving on the board of directors for Monumental Women. The work we've accomplished together in celebrating a one-year anniversary of this incredible statue resounds so deeply for all of the girls in New York City. Girl Scouts proudly participated in erecting this statue, and it will resonate across generations to come, giving girls the knowledge, the history, and the belief that they too belong here, that they belong in this city, and that they are valued historically across the five boroughs and beyond. We are so excited to launch the historic Women's Trail across the five boroughs of New York, where women and girls and families of all types can come and enjoy and learn that women are indeed a valued and valid part of history and need to be celebrated. As co-founders of the Statue Fund, now Monumental Women, Miriam and I would also like to acknowledge the other member of our Gang of Four, who helped us launch the monument movement, Colleen Jenkins. My collaboration with Colleen started when Miriam, knowing that Elizabeth Cady Stanton had seven children, searched for and found her activist descendant. Colleen was willing to trust my advice and make the three hour trek from Greenwich, Connecticut to the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, where she approached newly appointed Parks Commissioner Mitchell Silver, one of today's awardees, and informed him that there were 23 statues of real men in his premier public park and not one statue of a real woman. The result, in May 2015, we obtained the commissioner's permission to move ahead. And Colleen was the perfect partner, willing to work with me and overcome her shyness about fundraising. Together, we raised the tens of thousands of dollars needed to get our project off the ground. Our frequent walks in Central Park led us to realize there were 23 statues honoring men in the park, but not one honoring a woman. Outrage. We wrote a March 2013 Huffington Post blog that provided names of women worthy of statues, including Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Shirley Chisholm, Lillian Wald, etc., etc. Writing was not enough. 
we decided to do something about it. Undoubtedly, one of the best decisions we ever made. We formed a nonprofit board. Seven years later, on August 26, 2000, thanks to the hard work of board members, foremost among them, Pam Lamb, our statue was unveiled. Without Pam's deep commitment and brilliant leadership as president of Monumental Women, and without the help of Heather Besley's New York Life Insurance $500,000 grant, it would have taken many more years to achieve our goal. 